So let's talk about groups. We just saw uh, a group by, but you can also uh, assign a filter expression to a group that you create. Um, and the way it works is you're going to name that group, uh, and it could be just a name, or you can use an ARN. And the advantage of making your own groups is that it's going to generate its own service graph, trace summaries, and CloudWatch metrics. Uh, and this is going to save you a lot of time uh, when investigating very common scenarios. So the idea is right beside where the filter expression is. You can drop down and hit Create Group. And from there, you're going to name that group. And again, you can put an ARN in there. And then you just provide your filter expression. Notice that you can only create up to 25 groups by default. But I guess you can use a service limit to increase beyond that. Uh, if you're going beyond 25, you must have a very complex application. Uh, but I do want to warn you about uh, these groups because uh, let's, and this is just the, the nature of it. So when you create a group and you set that filter expression, um, and let's say down the road, you know, like a week later, you want to adjust that filter expression, it doesn't, it's not going to uh, retroactively apply that to all the previous um, data. It's only going to apply this regular expression for, or this filter expression for future data. So that's an issue where the data doesn't exactly represent what you expect it to look like uh, because you have this old expression and new expression. Um, so what you can do is if it really matters to you that the expression only represents um, data that is exactly based on that filter expression, you're just going to have to delete the current group and make a new one. Okay.